Wubin released their E7 Lite last year and it's definitely been one of my favorite ECL lights to date. This is one of the most versatile lights that Wubin has because you can purchase a couple different accessories for this light so it can be used in a lot of different scenarios. And it also comes in a couple brand new colors which I will be showing you along with those accessories in this video. Now the whole purpose of this video is to show you a couple of new colors that they actually came out with for the E7. This is not going to be a full review. If you want to see that full review that I did last year, I will be putting product links as well as the link to that video in my video description. And if you guys want to pick these up, definitely make sure you use my coupon code for 10% off your purchase. Now the two brand new colors for the E7 are going to be khaki and kind of like a metallic forest green looks really cool and they also have some battery extenders to go along with those colors as well. So first let's take a look at the khaki and see what you get inside the box. So here we get our manual. Here is the E7. Wow that looks really cool. So here is the khaki and it also has kind of like some speckles in it too. It's kind of like a metallic khaki. That looks really cool. So we'll put this aside for just a second, see what else we get inside the box here. So here we get a couple extra rubber gaskets for the battery compartment. We also get a lanyard, and we also have our USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable for charging. So this light can output a max of 1800 lumens, it's got a max beam distance of 132 meters. It only weighs 80 grams. And the dimensions for this flashlight are 2.38 by 0.94 by 1.10 inches. Again, like I mentioned before, it also uses a USB type C port that is covered by a little rubber gasket on the top. It's also IP68 water resistant. It's got a magnetic bottom and it has a 160 degree wide angle floodlight. And it also has a status LED right on the power button to show you what your battery level is at. And then here we have the green. Definitely kind of has a some sort of a flake in it to make it look metallic. Looks really nice. Very cool. So when you first get the light out of the box, you'll push the power button and you'll notice that nothing's happening. And that's because there's a cover over the battery connectors to keep it from draining. So all you need to do is to keep, take off the little cap here, just unscrew it. And you'll see that there's this little blue plastic tab. Just take that off, throw it away. And we can also take a look at the battery here. We have an 18350 battery that's 1100 milliamp hours. So then just put the cap back on the bottom, screw it on. And we might also have to unlock the bat, the, uh, the light as well. So that's on, we'll push in the little power button and it's, it's already unlocked. So as you can see, the light does turn on and we have the little status LED blinking on the top. Now you can also lock the light in case you don't want anything to turn the light on, maybe when it's in your book bag or something like that. So all you need to do is when the light is off, press this button in four times in rapid succession you'll see the light blink, and then when you press the button again, nothing happens, it just shows the little status LED blinking. Now your light is locked and nothing will turn it on, especially if it's in your book bag. And then if you wanna unlock it again, just press the button four times, and the light will turn on. Now, like I mentioned before, there are some accessories that you can purchase for the E7 that makes this even more versatile. And that is, one, a headlight clamp, so you can use this hands-free, maybe when you're working on your car, your truck, something like that. There's also a little sensor that you can buy to put on the uh, headlamp here. And basically what that does is allow you to turn the light on and off and do some of the other functions, even if you happen to have gloves on your hand, just by waving your hand over the little sensor. It's actually really cool. And then if you wanna extend the battery life, we also have a battery extender here that allows you to actually buy an 18650 battery that makes the light last even that much longer. Now, if you are gonna purchase the battery extender for your E7, you will also need to pick up one of the 18650 batteries from Wubin, and it's a 2600 milliamp hour battery. So you can see that it's already bigger than the one that comes with the E7. 
So the way that this works is you're going to unscrew the bottom cap on your E7, take out the battery, then you're going to screw on your extender, and then take your 18650 battery. Now, the 18650 battery that you get might be a little big, but you can just need to kind of force it into the light. As you can see, it's kind of stuck here. So just press it in a little bit more until the bottom is almost flush with the end of the extender. Then take your little cap here. Again, you're gonna to have to kind of press it on a little bit. It'll snap in place, then simply screw it in. And you're all set. So now it actually not only extends the battery life of your flashlight, but it also gives you something more to hold on to because as you can see, the little light here is pretty small and compact. And you know, if you don't have it clipped onto something with the metal clip on the back, you're gonna end up kind of holding it just like this. I, I really prefer more of a light just like this to kind of get a better grip on your, on your light. And then you can press the button here and it works just the same. I really do love that, it looks really cool. And again, the bottom parts are magnetic. Another really cool thing about the extender is the fact that it will also work with the headlight clamp as well. So whether you have the smaller 18350 or the 18650 battery, you can use both of these with the headlight clamp. And then here we have the green with the extender as well. I think that looks really cool. So you can kind of dual wield lights if you want to. <laughs> So like I mentioned before, the E7 is definitely one of my favorite lights just because it's nice and small and compact and it can do uh, quite a few different things for different scenarios. So again, if you guys wanna pick this up, I will be putting product links in the video description and don't forget to use my coupon code to save yourself some extra money. What do you guys think about the E7? Will you be picking one up? Let me know in the comments below. And again, if you guys wanna see the brightness test that I do and a full review of the E7, I'll be putting a link in the video description as well, or you can just click on the video you see on your screen right now. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out the channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.